Hello YouTubers, this is a quick session where I get to show you how you can take your C-sharp code outside of the monitor and just walk around with it. Uh, this particular session is uh, the simplest and quickest way I could find that would allow you to develop applications to run in the virtual space. Virtual space is a big deal, you know, it's been a big deal for a while now and it's probably a good thing to give you kind of the head start you need to kind of get interested and play around with these things. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and start a new application. I'm going to start a UWP application, which is basically a Windows app. There's nothing special about it. It's not dedicated specifically to HoloLens. So I'm going to call it HoloLens Demo App. Just some nice name, right? And uh, I'm going to kind of just show you. It's, it's really a drag and drop. So we basically want to drag and drop some controls and basically want to make sure these controls... Uh, kind of render on the screen and do the things that you want them to. So of course, here's a little button. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna bring a button in here, biggest button boss possible. And um, oh, I clicked too soon. Uh, I'm gonna change the code down here. If you see, there's a there's code base down here that basically reflects the design. If you've done anything in XAML, uh, Windows Forms, anything like that, you'll see this is very familiar pattern. Uh, I want to change the content here to say click me. So that's what happened. And then text size, let's make it a little little pretty. So text size, oops, text size, where? Size, font size, font size, uh, let's make it 41. Okay, so that's a button. It's just a simple button. Let's make that button do things. So I'm gonna drop a text box in here and that text box will say things, right? So first of all, let's change the content uh, I want this text box to have a name first because we're going to need uh, the text box uh, in our code, in the backend code, to basically do things for us. So I'm going to call this text box one. There you go. Control KD, just clean things up. And also, I want the font size to be 51. And I want this to be uh, centralized. So alignment, text alignment, text alignment should be center. So now everything is pretty. So this is a pretty interface. Okay, we've done the interface part. Let's do. Let's make that button do something interesting for us. So here is this dot text box one dot text equals hello world. So that's basically me saying when the button is clicked, it's gonna run hello world app. Let's run this first on our local machine just to make sure things are running the way we think they are. Here you go. This is my application, and then if I click here, it'll say hello world. Super simple. Magic, right? No problem there. Here comes the fun part. I want to deploy this on the HoloLens device. Like whatever I just developed, I want to walk around with it. I want to take it with me on the go. How do I do that? Well, step number one, plug yourself in the matrix. Here's a USB device. This is a USB-C. And I'm going to plug this in the back here in this HoloLens device. So here we go. Now we're plugged. You want to make sure that you're enabling the developer mode and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll walk you through th some of that just to make sure you know you get the the right you know uh, kickstart on this. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, we have an ARM64. I want to make sure we build it on that remote device. So when you click remote, you'll be able to find that Hololens device if you select remote instead of local machine. So now I selected that remote device right here. Right, and now I want to run this up here in this in this in this uh, device. So let's see what that looks like. I want to make sure also that this machine is booted up. There you go. And while it's doing that, I'm cleaning up some stuff just for fun. One liner. Control K E will clean things up. Okay, I need to enter my uh, passcode here to log into the HoloLens device. There you go. Now we're into the whole ins device. Now everything is connected. The computer recognizes that there is a device going on. Now I want to show you what my um, what my HoloLens looks like. So I'm going to spin up this really nice um, application. Here we go. Here. So now you get to see you get to see what my HoloLens looks like. See, you're looking at what I'm looking at. So if I do this, you get to see, basically your arm is Windows. So you see, if I do my arm like this, you get to see that Windows, 
and then you click on it and it starts when this whole lens is super cool right okay let's go back to our code so this is the code that we want to run on the hololens device so i'm just going to click arm 64 and then i'm going to click remote machine and it's supposed to deploy that code onto this machine let's hope that's what happens we'll see generating fix up local codes Give it a second there. Copying files, do you see that little sign? That's a great sign. And now I'm just reprojecting. Here it is. Do you see that application that we just developed? It's right here. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna put it right here on the side. Watch this. If I click on it, it should say hello world. Boom. Magic. So you can take that with you anywhere you want. So that C Sharp application that just developed, you can stick it right next to your monitor because my monitor is too small. I want more windows up and down next to the monitor and everything. That's your application right there. And you can debug it. You can do whatever you want with it. Super sweet and simple, right? Uh, that's really all that there is. There is no... There's nothing more. I'll unplug from the matrix now just because this worked out. Um, and, you know, that's really all that it is. You know, you basically develop a UWP app. You find your remote device. Make sure you're hooked up to the matrix. You'll know a little bit of Kung Fu. That's fine. It, it comes outside of the box. And then you get to kind of play around with this application. Uh, I hope you found this a little bit helpful, a little bit inspiring. Um, uh, you know, it's it's really amazing to be able to know that you can develop things in the virtual space and take your code outside of the box and then see, like you can make your application see what you're seeing and then interacting with it. One cool idea, just for people who want to discover things and play around with things, is develop a system that is like uh, like RoboCop, right? Except you know, it's it's more, much more friendlier than RoboCop. You basically have OpenAI integration. You hook it up to your UWP app. You take pictures of everything around you and you display information on the side of everything you're looking at. That would be sweet, you know, and if you want to develop something interesting and you're looking for a purpose and an idea, that would be it. Uh, thank you. That's it. That's Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, all my videos right now are uh, uh, purposeful for donation and nonprofit organizations. So check out somewhere in the links around here or here or here. I don't know, whatever it is, wherever YouTube puts it and uh, make a donation if you can uh, for a good cause. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you in another video.